If the Kansas City bomb and arson squad says this 4th of July was the loudest and busiest in recent memory, well, that's saying something. And it did not go off without any injuries. One Kansas City man was badly injured when a homemade explosive blew off his hand. KMBC 9's Michael Mahoney is live. Michael? Well, the authorities aren't saying too much about that incident other than the fact that the victim could be in jeopardy of losing his hand as well as another limb. Now, the police say that they confiscated about a half pickup truck full of fireworks over the long holiday weekend, and they know that they just scratched the surface on that. Now, fireworks, as many of you know, are legal in Missouri, but they're illegal within the city limits of Kansas City. Still, police know there were thousands of illegal prior, private firework displays set off all over the town throughout the weekend. Most of them, commercial fireworks, bought at a tent somewhere. But Jay Thompson of the police bomb and arson squad says they also see a lot of homemade explosives, too. The sad part about it is, is where they're being made at is your neighbors don't even know until the house explodes, like out on Tennessee. It's always after the explosion that the neighbors find out what's going on next door. Now, Thompson says making homemade fireworks obviously can be very, very dangerous. It's not unlike these improvised explosive devices that terrorized troops in Iraq and Afghanistan. He says that the law views homemade fireworks as explosives, not something simple as child's play or something like that, can be treated in the eyes of the law as a felony. Michael Mahoney, KNBC 9 News. Thompson says there are not enough police officers or firefighters in the city to enforce the city's ban against fireworks. They can only respond to some complaints.